This is Tara from Simple Day, and I am on a mission to make productivity simple using Monday.com. Today, I wanted to show you how you can create an annual plan in Monday. And the best part about this is that you can make this board and this whole process into a templated process. So that way for the following year, you can do the exact same thing. Obviously things change year to year from company, but in general, a lot of times some things are the same. So you can just use your template to work off of that. So basically what I have here is I have a folder called annual planning and I have two different boards. The first board is my annual plan board. Now I divided it by quarter. And for this specific example, you can see that there's a magazine that's created every quarter, there's quarterly reports every quarter, and there's a conference three out of four quarters. So what I have is, I, like I said, I have the groups by quarter, I have a timeline for each project, I divided my projects by type, so I can clearly see if I want, I can very easily sort by, let's say I want to see just the, the plan for the, the annual plan just for the magazine, so I can easily filter by type. I also created a budget and I have a column for final for the final files. Now the next thing that I did is once I would once I have my annual plan created, I created a task board and this is the actual working board where you're going to do all the tasks. So let's say this first task I have is create the front cover, I have the status, the due date, and I connected it with a connected boards column to the Q1 magazine and I also pulled in the type. Now let's just say that this cost me $50. So you can see that I added my cost here. I'm actually gonna do a new one. Let's just say I need to create a new logo for our magazine, okay? So I am going to assign it to myself. I'm gonna click working on it. Let's say my due date is the end of the month and this has to do with our magazine for Q1. So I'm gonna connect it. And let's just say this is gonna cost me $200. So I added the price. Now if I go back to the annual um, planning. So you can see Q1. I have two items here, two tasks that are created. And you can see my new create logo task is there. And it shows me the total amount that I spent. So I spent $250. Now just to sh show you, if you go back, you could see on this test, I spent $50 and this test, I spent $200. So the total comes out to $250. Now, what I also have here is I have um, a calculation of how much budget is left over. So for this magazine in Q1, I have a budget of $5,000 and you can see that I spent 4,750. I also added this icons just as a really simple, easy way to show me if I'm on budget or off budget. Like you can see here that for this task, I'm off budget by $250. I also added a timeline view for my annual plan. So I did it by quarter. You can easily change this um, if you want to do it by year or if you want to do it by months or weeks, uh, whatever you want. But here I have by quarter. So I can see what I have by quarter. If I had other people assigned, it would be by person, but here it's only me. The next dashboard that I created is my budgets dashboard. So here you can see I have the annual budget, the used budget, the remaining budget, and the budget by type. These dashboards are simply a numbers widget. So I'll just show you quickly. I can just click add widget, click add numbers, and I would just go to the settings. And here I would, let's just say I want to do leftover budget. And this would show me what, and I'm just going to make the sum to dollars. And this would show me what my leftover budget is. See, it's the same thing as this, but I just wanted to show you how to use it. And here is a budget showing me my total budget by type. So for my magazine over the year, my entire budget is $20,000. I could also divide this by quarter if I wanted to see um, by quarter. So this is a great way to have a annual plan that your company can really use as a template. So all that you would do is you would just change this board type to a template. Um, you could just click here. I can't save it as a template because it's not a main board, but it would have to be a main board. And then I can save it as a template. And you always have, so it's like a high level board that you have here of your annual plan. And then you have your task board, which links up to your annual plan. So anytime you can see where you are on a more granular level, or you could see where you are on a overview level of your entire plan. Hope this is helpful.